Hi everybody, Lorraine here. Thanks for joining me again, and if it's the first time you've joined me, thank you. Appreciate it. Um, subscribe if you'd like to. I'm going to try and put videos out every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So if you like them, subscribe and hit that bell, and you'll be notified when I upload a new video. I have a... What is the size of this? 11 by 14 canvas. And I've already put white paint on the background. And um, one of the Facebook groups that I belong to is doing a challenge. And it was Spring Citrus. And I thought, ooh, that's kind of fun. Maybe I could do a swipe to look like a big orange. So what I have done is I have my um, orange paint and I toned it down with some lemon yellow, little tiny bit of white, and then I brought it down a little bit further with a little bit of the lemon yellow and more white. So I have three different shades of orange. I have my lemon yellow, I might put a little bit of that in there, and um, let's see how much white paint I have in here. I was going to put some silicone right in the middle, some white paint right in the middle with silicone in it. I was just checking to see how much paint I have left in here. I think I'll put it in a small cup so that I have better control of where it's going. orange on that. So, there we go. Put just a tiny bit of that in a cup and mix a few drops of my treadmill silicone, silicone oil into it. Got to be careful because my cap split on me. It's probably more than enough. Give that a little stir. And my thought is if I start in the center, move out in a circular motion like this, that's my darker color. Move a little lighter. Paint's a little thicker than I'd like it. Not giving myself very much room to swipe, am I? Probably should have started smaller. Now we'll give it a try. Why not? And I'm going to put just a touch of yellow in there. Like that. And this is my white paint with the silicone. Put that right in the middle. And I've cut different sizes of cards here. Just pieces of cardboard to swipe with, so let's see how this works. Just a light touch. Pull it out. Pull it out. Afraid I have too much paint. I hope not. paper towel so I can wipe this. Do this lightly. Works better if you have a light touch when you do a swipe. Just 
just want to drag that white paint with the silicone up and over the different colors. Oh, I can go to the left here. Not too bad. Kind of excited. I got a new little gadget for my camera so that I could face it straight down onto what I'm doing. I still haven't quite figured out how to do it from my perspective and still be able to see the monitor. But I thought that was kind of nice to be able to put it up above. pretty cool. I think I want to put some of the lighter orange in the middle here. So I want it to look like a sectioned orange. You know, when you cut them in half. You can see that section of them. That's kind of what I'm going for. Like the way the cells are popping out, they look really pretty. Okay, pretty happy with that. Pretty good representation of what I was seeking. See how much paint I have left. See if it wants to move just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of movement. Also did a little bit of work on my lights here to bring down the glare. <clears throat> I was watching my videos as I was editing them, and they were there was a lot of glare right on the canvas. So let me know if that worked, because I think it did. But sometimes I can't see it the way others do. I'll heat it up here and see if we can get a little bit more of the silicone to come up through in spots. bit popping up. Little bit popping up. I like it. Sides are all covered pretty good. See, now I can bring it in for a close-up by lifting it up. And giving you a look like this. Some really pretty dark cells in there. You can see the different colors of orange coming up through. Pretty, pretty. 
So there we go. Challenge accepted. Thanks for watching, guys. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. And um, again, thank you. Bye.